the royal building of Mafra is one, unique and exceptional. The world is on display here. Thought out together as a whole, indissociable, one, men, wisdom, and the art of the old continent. The best that Europe had to offer came here. Nine hectares of gardens and 1,200 hectares of the king's private hunting park bought from the people of the land and enclosed by an impressive 21-kilometer wall. Six organs, all in the same basilica, designed to be played as an ensemble, so unique the composers were summoned to create pieces that can only be played here. Names such as Antonio Leal Moreira, Diogo de Conceição, Carlos Seixas, Louis Nicolas Clerambault, Isfred Kaiser, Marcos Portugal, Giuseppe Paganelli, and Juan José Baldi. 120 bells, a set that includes the two largest carillons built in Europe in the 18th century. Carillons from Liège and Antwerp. French and Italian paintings, Italian sculptures, the finest materials from Belgium to Ireland, Brazilian woods, and the choice of Portuguese stones. A library containing the best in science and arts of its time, property of the crown, a source of scientific research. Its pharmacy, described as a true pharmaceutical laboratory of the 18th century, the last Galenic infirmary that remains intact in Europe. A space where doctors and botanists were trained, such as Brotero, linked to the Jardin des Plantes in Paris, and Ribeiro Sanchez, Empress Catherine of Russia's own physician. Mafra is a model, a school of arts, science, and culture. A true university of knowledge. The living and precise memory of an era greater than the sum of its parts. Mafra is a unique fragment of both Portuguese and world history. Mafra is a living memory, an area for recognition of the community and the Portuguese people in a clear invitation to gain knowledge. Mafra is an area for living cultural interaction. Through UNESCO recognition, MAFRA intends to be safeguarded, known, enhanced, and disclosed. MAFRA. One. Unique. And exceptional.